All right, everyone, as you can see, this is a freshly built operations for log server, right? The reasons or how you can identify that, of course, is if there is nothing sending data to it, you will see this, right? If we were to take a quick look, let's say, for example, we take a look at um, integration, we'll notice that everything is empty, right? Likewise, if we were to take a look at ops, Let's add a system to it, all right? So let's do this. So first things first, let's uh, connect to a Linux server. As you can see, I'm actually connecting it to Fulton OS. Because it's Fulton OS, I cannot use the agents to do this. So syslog is the next best thing. So first things first, let's take a quick look, right? Let's, let's install um, syslog. All right, so syslog has already been installed in this particular version. So now the next thing we need to do, we need to edit the uh, syslog config. All right, let's head all the way towards the bottom. And here, what we can do is we can add a new line. All right, and we need to point to our syslog server. So I mean our log operations for log server. Likewise, we need to send it to the right port. Now we just need to restart the service. Likewise, if this machine were to reboot, it's probably best to um, enable it so that way it starts from the get go. All right, and there you have it. You notice that the daemon is running. So now we wait a few minutes. And you notice you're starting to get data already, right? Among the thing, as you can see, is that full tunnel OS machine. So now if we were to go back here and we were to take a quick look at the source, actually take a look at logs, we're going to start to notice that logs are starting to come in. So Here's one example of how to configure um, syslog to talk to your operations for log.